Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. I hope you're doing well this fine Thursday afternoon. Yesterday night, I brought you a video on how to farm some lovely charms really quickly. Okay, and it all took place in the outside world. Now, it was my favourite place to farm them. Um, but as is with guides, <laughs> I put the video up and I got quite a lot of messages of people saying, everybody's going there now, as everybody's going there. So they couldn't get the amount of lovely charms that they wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get that many again, around 750 odd an hour, but in the dungeon. Okay, so this this way you can be completely on your own and I've gone to Stormstout Brewery Why Stormstout Brewery specifically because you need an area that's got a constant flow of Regenerating mobs. It's all well and good having a big concentration of mobs What's better than a big concentration of mobs a big concentration of mobs that keeps regenerating? So after you've taken care of Uka Duka, do you know he says I'm gonna ook you and your Duka that monkey is not ukering my duka, all right? I don't fly that way, sunshine. Uh, but what you want to do is, after you've defeated him, come up to the top, but don't go through to Hoptilius. Don't go through there. No, no, no. Just stay out here. Because what happens is the hoplings, they just respawn. They just keep respawning from the big destroyed, uh, you know, like, barrel. Where the boss fight is, because they come in during the boss fight. So what I decided to do is just, again, as yesterday, spend 10 minutes in the spot farming away. So I'm just coming up to the end of my 10 minute farm period. And I'm going to see how many lovely charms we've managed to get in that time period. Now, coming into the dungeon, I had approximately 20 on me. So I'm going to take about 20 lovely charms off. The grand total at the end, 15 to 20. So, you know, give it a little bit of leeway. And if you want to stop them from uh, respawning, simply jump over the edge here. Just jump over the edge. Whatever spawned will eventually come through to the bottom. But once you've killed them, then they'll they'll be outside again. They'll just start queuing up outside. Uh, you won't aggro them. That's a great way to get yourself out of uh, combat. So here we are. We've got 40, 80, 120, 145... Take away, <laughs> take away 20, lo and behold, it's 125, exactly like yesterday. So if you do it from there for about an hour, you're going to get, once more, approximately 750 lovely charms per hour here in Stormstout Brewery. So again, what does that translate to? Where you can hand them in for the love tokens, and those love tokens can be exchanged, 270 of them, for the Swift Lovebird, which, if you've already got, doesn't matter. People are saying, if we're good at the words, doesn't matter. Put it on the auction house. Make yourself some money. And if you haven't done the Varian quest, or you haven't done the, well, imagine it'd be Garrosh. Do you hand it into Garrosh, really? I don't know, Hordies, who do you hand it in? You want to go up to Garrosh and say, here, by the way, here's a here's a Valentine's Day gift. By the way, I'm going to stick my spear up your ass in Siege of Orgrimmar, mister. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, don't forget to hand it in, though, because you get five for completing that quest. You only get one if you hand them in at the Quartermaster. So there we go. Doing it in a dungeon now, as opposed to in the outside world, is another alternative for you to still get 750-odd charms per hour, which means about... Three to four hours farming to get them out. Not bad at all, really, is it? So, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and also twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. And I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.